Alexander Hamilton, what you doing? These dolphins in the Potomac River are named after American politicians and activists. Oh, uh, Frederick Douglass is here. By a group of disease detectives tracing the spread of a deadly virus among the social animals. We're trying to study exactly how this disease is transmitted so we can get a better idea of if there's any possible way to try to mitigate this threat. It's a recurring problem that's had a disastrous impact on marine mammal populations over the years. Our Billy virus ranks as the greatest disease threat that faces dolphins and whales worldwide. It's actually thought to have cut coastal populations, those coastal populations that we think come and use the Chesapeake Bay by 50%, so around 20,000 animals, which is huge. Much like COVID, it's aerial, it's a respiratory virus. There's a very specific behavior that is suspected to transmit morbillivirus, virus, and it's called synchronized breathing. And it's basically when dolphins surface at the exact same time within a certain distance of each other and exhale at the same time. Breathing together is how male dolphins show that they're buddies, often traveling and foraging together as well. When we walk on the street, we eat walk synchronously with people that we're bonded with. And it's sort of similar in the sense of like synchrony being part of the bonding, but it also makes them vulnerable for transmission. Though people aren't to blame for the virus, they can make animals more susceptible by disrupting their environment. Pollution in the waters can really affect marine mammals' immune systems and make them less likely to be able to fight off the disease. It's James Buchanan. J-A-B, it's my favorite fin. We look at the water, we, we see blue, we don't see what's under the surface, but carbon and plastics and prey depletion, these are all things that threaten the animals, that threaten their food chain. I feel like if people know about dolphins in the wild, and they know that they're in their backyard, that they will um, help protect these animals. Which means protecting the oceans and waterways that they call home. Angie Wang, Associated Press.